you do see. you think in that instance where Michael Quay made those pronouncements, your own member of parliament, who subsequently went independent, was also given fair hearing. And so in this very instance, the two are coterminous. Yeah, but you see, if you had allowed me to land, I'm sure this question would have even come in the first place. Because in the case of the Siama, he was actually copied with the motion to the speaker to make a determination. It's not even actually a declaration to inform the parliament about the vacation of his seat. With these four uh, MPs involved, at no point were they copied in the motion that came from the minority. So they are not the same. In the case of Esiama, Esiama, the motion to the speaker on vacation of his seat or on the fact that, I mean, he's left or he's cross carpeted, he was copied in that, in that uh, I mean, particular motion or that letter. In their instance, Are you saying that being copied and then also being given an opportunity for fair hearing are the same? No. Are they coterminous? No. If, if you see, when you talk about the principle of fair hearing, we are essentially giving you an opportunity to be heard. Roland, if I write a letter to your general manager and then copy you, what essentially does it mean? Am I not giving you an invitation or invitation to act on the same letter? How same or how similar is this instance? Where a motion is tabled, of course, even... I, 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 I want to finish my submission on the natural justice before I even move into the, whether or not the speaker even had the powers to make the determination in the first place. But the principle that I'm saying is that if you read the case of, um, of course, the court decision in the Republic versus High Court, uh, Accra, ex party, uh, La Imensa, the court was very clear. And the Supreme Court said that failure to grant a party an opportunity to be heard is a breach of natural justice, rendering the decision void. So even we go in, before we go into whether or not the Supreme Court erred, whether or not it was an executable instrument, whether or not a mistake of execution will, will stand, the first principle is we have to ask ourselves a very fundamental question. Were those four MPs heard? If they were not heard, the decision, the declaration, the order made by the, the, the Speaker of Parliament is void of an issue.